Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Rave Green TV. And this is going to be your preview for this weekend's clash between Atlanta United and the Seattle Sounders. And per usual, as the theme has been going on this channel since the summer has started, we have a special guest to preview this game. We're joined with probably the number one super fan for Atlanta United. You guys have probably seen this man around, you know, the Atlanta block with his big Joseph Martinez cutout heads. It is Layton. I'm joined with him today, Layton. Thank you so much for uh, coming on and making this happen. Yeah, man. Thanks thanks for letting me on. So basically, as per usual, with every preview lay-in, let's, let's just jump right into it. Let's talk a little bit about Atlanta United. Your head coach is former assistant coach Gonzo Pineda. I don't know how salty some of the Sounders fans will be that he's left us. On regards to we, we despise Atlanta, we just miss the man a lot because we think he's a really good coach. But this year, you guys are currently not in a playoff spot, but... Things can change very quickly, as we all know, in MLS. But what has been kind of your guys' thoughts so far this season under Gonzo now that he has – this is his first full season as a head coach? Yeah, you know, I, Gonzo, I really do like the man. He He's done really well for the club. I mean, the only thing really hindering us right now is injuries. We have a huge injury problem with the club just throughout the whole season since game one. So, you know – I won't, I won't really blame Pineda as most of his tactics have been really good. And I'm assuming most of that has come from, you know, being under, you know, Brian Schmetzer. So I think he's done really well for the cards that he's been dealt. And, you know, we're not really in a playoff position, but, you know, that's fine. There's been a lot of things addressed during the season that I think have been really good for the future of this club. For example, you know, Yosef coming out and speaking up against our front office, speaking up against some of the transactions they've made, bringing in a bunch of South Americans who aren't maybe so for for the badge, but for their future in Europe. I know you're you're speaking for a big audience here, but do you think Atlanta United are not pressing the panic button? They're not super worried. The issues aren't with the players and the coach. It's more with the back office. That's kind of the biggest issue. Now they're trying to rebuild that because I know that was an issue you guys had last year. Yeah, I think that's 100% front office most of the part you know sometimes it's the players not giving their 100 percent. but you know i can't really blame gonzalo pineda for what's gone down this season with the lack of passion from the players some game and the lack of competencies from sometimes from the front office you know boca negra you know selling players without coaches consent buying players that don't want to play for the club you know things like that are things that kind of need to be addressed and we're kind of getting to a point where you know these things are getting addressed, which is really good for the club. So, I mean, yeah, you guys are taking the right step, the right direction. I think just the thing that I think it's because for me personally, I thought Atlanta were going to be up in like the top three this season in the conference. I, I was a big fan. I mean, there was a, a big jump with Atlanta last season when Gonzo came in. You guys were probably one of the hottest teams going into the playoffs. And unfortunately, you guys lost, I mean, to the eventual winner. So there's nothing entirely wrong with that. But you guys were a hot team. And so far, it's been very much like it's been up and down, but there's positives to it for sure. And in regards to the flip side with the Sounders, I guess kind of not similar issues, but similarities in regards to it's been up and down for the Sounders as well. Have I mean, have you been impressed with their season? Do you think, again, for them, they shouldn't be pressing the panic button? Yes, they're in a playoff spot, but it, it could really go either way for this team as well. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, both clubs, I think, are lower than where I would have expected them to be this season. I'd expect both to at least be in at least a home field position halfway through the season now. So, you know, they're both really low. But for Seattle, I wouldn't be pressing it just yet. As, I mean, you just came off a win off Dallas, I believe. You know, you've still got good players. You know, Jordan Morris, Raul Roy Diaz. I mean, you've got these players. I think this club really could make a big jump in the league. It's just a matter of when, because, you know, Seattle usually does that usual, you know, kind of slump off at the beginning of the season. Now get hot second half. So it's really just up to the players, really. Yeah, I mean, I hope I'm crossing my fingers that that's the case. And yeah, we did win midweek against FC Dallas. I believe Atlanta did not play midweek. So Seattle will have a little bit of tired legs going into this game, traveling to Atlanta. I believe the last time we played against each other in Atlanta was in 2018 or 19, I believe. It ended one-to-one. I know Nico scored and Joseph scored. I believe that was his first goal against the Sounders, actually. That was, I think he broke his duck for that. But, I mean, this is very hypothetical. I'll put asterisks up if I'm wrong with any of this. But I believe that's the last time we played against Atlanta. And as, as you said, Lane, I think the big thing is, you think of Atlanta, Seattle. These two were the two conference finalists in 2019 probably like 
Atlanta and Seattle have set the bar for expansion teams in MLS. And, you know, you think of these guys, these are kind of like, I think Atlanta and Seattle, one of the powerhouses in MLS always are in that mix. Whenever you, you talk about before the season starts, who's going to be that team to win MLS cup, win trophies, open cup, supporter shield. And yes, granted Seattle's won the CCL, but in regards to MLS, cause we're not talking about CCL, they're not really, they're not really up where we'd hope both of these teams would be. In regards to players to watch, you spoke about Raul Reed Diaz, Jordan Morris, but for Atlanta, Joseph Martinez has been good this year, but he hasn't been Joseph Martinez of old. Who's kind of been that guy for you guys so far this season that we should keep our eyes out on this weekend? You know, really, I think Seattle should be looking at Tiago Almada. He's given me so many flashes of Miggy this year. It's, it's kind of wild. You know, the runs up the field. It's just the final third product has not been there because as you said, Joseph Martinez, isn't Yosef Martinez right now. He's been missing shots left, right, and center. So, you know, we just need to get that finishing product out there. And I think this Atlanta side could really pose a threat in the final third. One guy I want to throw out there is, uh, people might be thinking I'm kidding, but Ronaldo, he's been someone that has been really, been, he's been a smash hit since Atlanta United have signed him. Yeah, he's done really well. You know, most of his goals, he's he either scores three or two goals or he scores no goals. There's not really an in-between with the guy, but you know, when he's hot, he's hot. He can finish anything on the field, especially on through ball. He's really quick to get behind the defense. He knows where to position himself to get in behind. It's just a matter of his finishing product. Is it there or is it not for the game? In regards to the game, how do you think it's going to play out? What are you kind of hoping for, for Atlanta United? Are you hoping this will be the game to kind of start kickstarting the second half of the season for you guys? I think it's actually a kickstarter for both sides, really. This could be a big confidence boost for either side if there's a winner. You know, I'm really just expecting, I need that as Atlanta, we need the defense to start performing. There's too many mistakes on that side of the ball, and we're not getting the ball to the attackers to make those runs up to score. So a lot of the times we're playing on the back foot against clubs. And it's really starting to hurt us with the constant mistakes in the back, which we're starting to resolve with the return of Gutman and soon Lennon to our back line. But, you know, when you lose a player like Miles Robinson, for example, USMNT experience, it really does hurt you when you're playing. You know, we play George Campbell now at center back who might not be the best in the back and it might not be his best position as he does play center defensive mid for the Atlanta United twos. There's not been many winners in this, this tie between Atlanta and Seattle, a lot of draws. No one really comes out as flat winners. So does that maybe think that maybe there'll be another draw in this uh, series between the two teams? I'm really thinking so. I'm thinking it's going to be a high attacking fair because I mean, both defenses are definitely overshadowed by the high powered offenses from both sides. So, you know, I'm thinking it'll be a high powered, high intensity game. But I think it'll be a very close soaring game that probably or maybe will end in a tie this year. I think we're going to go 2-2. Okay, I was leaning towards 1-1. I, I I could see the intensity part. I could so see that. But I could see Stefan Fry just making a poop ton of saves. And that's the only reason we stay into this game. Because that's kind of been the theme of the Sounder season. Stefan Fry has probably been, him and Christian Roldan have been probably one of our best players this year. And so I'm going to go with a tie as well. I'm going to say one to one but i'll be interested to see what actually happens and lay in will be hopefully on one of the fan cams so we'll get to have another you know we'll, we'll discuss it again to see who was right who was wrong in this but boys and girls mine and lay opinion only matter so much let us know in the comments down below what do you think your score predictions for this weekend's game is who do you guys think will be the key players for Atlanta, Seattle? Let us know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. Make sure to smash the like button on today's video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I hope you'll have a lovely day.